Choices, choices. They make the Merlin in two different models. There's an open tuned D and an open tuned G. They're very similar instruments. In fact, according to some authorities, they are identical instruments with just a different set of strings and tuned differently. But it brings up the question of what does a beginner, an absolute beginner, want to buy? Do you want the D or do you want the G? Well, I, you know, I'm one of those people who, uh, well, I got the D because all of the tablature and all of the learning materials that you see online are in the key of D. And then I got to thinking, of course, well, maybe I want the G. I thought maybe, knowing as little as I know about music, that the G would match my vocal range better. Turns out it doesn't. There are just as many songs I can sing as D in D as there are as I can sing in G, which is practically none at all, but I'm working on it. So, which do you want to buy? Again, as an absolute beginner. And the question comes down to then which is easier to play for the beginner, which is easier to learn on, I think, and how do you like the sound? Do you like the D better than the G or the G better than the D? So, here they are. This is the D model. This is what I got first. I got the mahogany. It does come in spruce, and the spruce is reputed to be considerably brighter. No more banjo-like sound. But I like the mellow sound of the, uh, of the mahogany, and I don't regret my choice, even though I ended up getting mahogany G model, because that's all they make, is mahogany in G. So I'm going to try to play a little here. And you got to remember, I'm just beginning and haven't gotten very far. So I'm going to just play a few chords of Amazing Grace. And here's the same thing, more or less, on the G. Try that again. Deeper, more resonant sound than the D. Also in a much lower register. I can't sing that song in G. I can sing it in D. Now as far as playability goes, well, they're very similar. However, surprisingly, I found that the, uh, the strings on the D, on the G rather, are easier to depress because there's much less tension on them than the strings on the D. So if you have tender fingers to begin with, and the strings are bigger, thicker, but they are lower tension and easier to press down. to you. Two very similar and very different instruments. So you have to make a decision as to which one is going to suit you better. I don't regret having bought the D first. I don't regret having bought the G. With both instruments it gives me a much wider range of music that I can play and enjoy. And that's what it's all about. If you're not having fun, 
don't bother to do it.